Hello, my name's Josh. Welcome back. This is part two in my series of my holiday project with Keystone. I've deployed a Keystone instance to ser fully serverless Keystone. If you haven't seen part one, make sure you check out my intro. And to, in this video, I'm going to be talking about my Vercel setup, how I've deployed both the GraphQL API and the admin UI to Vercel for a fully serverless setup. So let's get into it. So here we are in uh, code. I've got my uh, on the hill drama club repo open again. Uh, this is open source. I'll post a link in the description. So check that out. Uh, this is a next JS app. So we can, we deploying Next.js straight to, to, um, to Vercel. If I look at packages.json, uh, we can see next, we're using next 13.2. Uh, and in my next config for this local app, I've got some, some rewrites that are taking the slash admin and and proxying that through to the Keystone URL admin. So that's what I'm doing is I'm using uh, Next.js zones. So have a look at that, Next.js zones. Again, I'll post the link in the description. Uh, if you, you can proxy through different zones through your Next.js app. So I've got two Next.js apps running. One's the admin UI and one's the front end with the GraphQL API. And, and this is the front end and, and it proxies the, the admin, the Keystone admin UI through slash admin. Now, to make that happen on the Keystone side, if we look at the keystone.ts, uh, I've got this get additional files, which is taking my uh, a file called next uh, keystone next config and putting it into the next config of uh, the keystone admin ui so i've got the import path and the output path so this copies this keystone next config uh, into the actual next next config uh, of the of the generated admin ui and I'm just setting the base path. So getting, getting the keystone config from, from its standard location uh, and then just overriding the base path with slash admin. So that means I can use slash admin on my keystone admin UI and everything works happily. Now, in my source pages API GraphQL, this is my GraphQL API for both the admin UI and the uh, the front end uh, and and there's a blog, good blog, blog post by the Nash on the Keystone website. Check that out. Okay, so that's that's some of the code uh, that we can see. Now let's jump over to Vercel and we'll have a look at how that's set up over there. So this is I've got like I said I've got two applications. I've got uh, the front end, which is Emily Calder Performing Arts, and the admin UI, which is Emily Calder Performing Arts dash admin. So this admin, this is the Keystone admin UI. Uh, I've got uh, a build, turbo build Keystone, uh, and the output directory is dot slash dot Keystone slash admin slash dot next, which is where Keystone outputs the next app, which is the admin UI. Okay, and then if we have a look at my front end application, again, a standard next, I've got the build and migrate. Uh, build will build the next app and migrate will migrate the database. Uh, and then my environment variables, I have my Keystone URL, which is the the URL of the 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 admin UI application. So that's a, a brief overview of 
my application deployed to Vercel. If you have any questions, any comments, make sure you put them in the comments below. I'll be making some more videos on, on how I've set this up. Uh, but if you have particular questions, make sure you put a comment. Make sure you like, subscribe. I'll be posting more videos. So stay tuned.